G'day guys, it's Taeus and welcome back to another episode of Subsistence. It looks like we've got a nice little nailed crate there, so we'll go pick that up shortly. But it looks like we've got some mates over there, so we're going to have to keep an eye on them for sure. They're moving around the map a little bit. We have... what have we got going on? We have... We're trying to get our power all up so we can get another power storage and then we can look into making... Well, not a solar panel, but a fridge and all that later stuff. But we also need, more importantly, is we need to go kill a deer. We need to find a deer and kill it. Once we've got that, then we can get some more adhesive and, yeah, it starts to become a little bit easier. So, let's talk. Let's just get straight into it. Well, we've got a little bit too close to Wolfie, mate, there, so we'll just make some tracks out of here, I think. We don't really want to play with them. We're still searching for those deer, ideally. We're going to sneak past the hunter a little bit, I think. We'll get our little chicken mate there. But I reckon that hunter's going to see us any time soon, especially when I'm going to be a little bit greedy and just try and pick up some of the stuff up here. We made a nice early start to it as well, which is good. What's this? Ah, uh, some blueberries. Blueberries are always good. We'll have a bit of eat of that. Butcher you up. Nah, they might not have seen us. We'll keep going along. But I reckon, yeah, us hooning along like this, they may kind of catch on. Hopefully not. We've got to find this deer. Where the hell is the deer? The other thing we've got to do while collecting all this lovely stuff is we've got to collect some more wood as well. We're pretty low on wood, so we've got to hit those big trees, especially. Just because it's a little bit easier to get stuff. Oh, locked crate as well. Damn it. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. We'll make a trek back home. Ugh, painful. Very painful. There's a bear over there. We should be able to sneak in here and grab this without bear wanting to try and eat us. But yeah. Change of plans, we might try and make a key. So we'll keep going around as fast as we can, make a key, and then come back and get this locked box, I reckon. We're getting a few little friends and stuff about the place, which is a little bit painful. We'll have to go, we'll have a bit of a detour, but hopefully the detour can take us to that elusive deer. Oh, a crate up there, that'll do as well. Another crate off to my right hand side. And a whole bunch of ore, so we haven't done bad here. Oh, a few pieces of ammo, definitely nice. And look at that nice wooden crate over here. Love these things. Always useful for us to expand our base, which we're gonna we are going to do. Sounds like there's a wolf out there, which is not too happy with us, but I don't know where he is. So we'll go this way. I don't really want to have the wolf come to eat me. He might be at the front here somewhere. It's a bit hard to tell at this stage. Not scared the chicken away, poor chicken. Another locked crate. Okay, it's really trying to tell us something by the looks of us. Oh, bear mate, no, we don't want to play with you. Or oh, wolf. We're just gonna split the difference. Let's see if we can just duck in here and get this out of wooden crate, because these are these are gonna be very useful for us. Look at that some more nails. We're, we're getting a fair few of them actually. Hopefully if all the wildlife's at the front there on the beach, which it seems to be today for some strange reason, then hopefully we might have a deer or something out here. And hopefully not any hunters. Look at that, another max health increase. Yes, please. It's just bumped up slightly. That's good. Hey, every little bit helps in this game. I'm quite happy to get there one little increment at a time. Oh, there's our answer. That's what we wanted, right over there. Beautiful, okay. Back into sneak mode. There we go, we got another little hit on him, that's good. We can just calm down a little bit. Oh, bear's chasing him now, that's not exactly ideal. Got to see how that's gone. Hopefully the bear doesn't get him. Almost got him. One more hit on the deer and then we should have him. Might have been him for breakfast, but hey, that adhesive is going to come in real handy. Where are you, mate? There he is. All out by his lonesome. Cougar's off to the left somewhere. That's all good. 
There we go. Deer down. Excellent. That's what I wanted. Don't see anything else coming out to murder me. This is great. Finally. Ooh. There we go. Some antlers, a bit of cloth, liver and some fat. Perfect. Let's go get some water. To some water. Wash our hands off. And then we're golden. Might even kill a cougar while we're up here. Why not? Deers and cougars. It's a shame that we can't wash our hands in the snow, but hey, is what it is. Look at that, another little bunny. That's excellent. We're going to need all the cloth we can get at this stage. Oh, and a cougar as well. What we're going to do... How damaged is our little base here? You settle down a bit, mate. We'll give this a bit of a repair. And we'll give you a bit of a nudge. Oh, that's a nudge. There we go. Not sure if he copped all those pellets. He seemed to do well. That's alright. Where are you going, mate? Are you... Jesus. Just come here. We want you for a bit of dinner. Well, we want you to send you, actually. Where are you? You come back over? I can see your tail just sitting there. There we go. Well, yeah, he doesn't like me. Where's our little landing? Okay, so we'll give you one more of those. Because he's right on us. We might even take the shotgun out just in case. There we go. Finished off nice and easy. Two shoddy shells and a couple arrows. Not too bad. I feel like he was a... What, what level are you? Level 3. Yeah, he felt reasonably tough. He was taking it like a champ. But that's okay. We have got some more sinew. We've got two, five more sinew. And a steak. And some more cloth. And some more fat. Beautiful. We have done well. Absolutely fantastic. What a good start to the day. So with all that sinew, cloth, ooh, and chicken. Sorry, distracted. Easily distracted. We'll get you first, mate. And then we'll go wash our hands. Oh, there's another deer. Do we dare? Do we go for two deer? It is a tempting prospect. Like that. I think it's going to be one more hit. And we should have him. We just want to kind of keep an eye on him as well a little bit. In case a wolf or something tries to eat him. Which we don't want them still in our kill. Now where'd you go, mate? You'll be in here somewhere. I don't want to spook him. Just want to put another arrow in him. Okay, there he is. Okay, we got him. Just want to get down here. Beautiful. Excellent, another deer. Two deers for the day. That's absolutely fantastic. We have done very well here. This is going to be extremely useful. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Deer. Look at that. Wonderful. Let's get back. And, just to top it off, another wooden crate. Definitely not going to say no. Thank you. Oh, another bunny. Yes, please. I'll definitely take you quite happily. Sound like I heard another bunny then as well, actually. Maybe I'm just imagining things. I do that from time to time. Yeah, I hope everybody's New Year's and Christmas went really well. It's one of those exciting times of year and it just passes by just too quickly. You blink, you miss it, and you have to start the year again. You've got to do it all over again. But hey, it's all good fun. A little piggy guy. Got no interest in finding him at this stage. But what I will do is I will take this little bit of metal. Yes, please. Settle down, piggy. You stay there, mate. You're all good. Not interested in you. It's not time for bacon. And bear, yeah, I'm definitely not interested in you. You can definitely stay there. Oh, and we're back home during the daytime. Surprise, surprise. Doesn't happen often, but it's good when it does. Get those out. Get some steaks on the cook, because why not? Well, our cotton's coming up. Oh, our tomatoes have grown. That's very exciting. Tomatoes are excellent. But the next thing we're going to pop in is we should have... Not a cotton seed, and cotton's very important. We're going to definitely need that for our little shenanigans and stuff around the place. So, cotton seed. These are almost ready to go, which is excellent. Can we see anything that needs to come over? 
Nothing just yet. Let's try not to burn our food, eh? Look, we've done exceptionally well. Four antlers there. Absolutely perfect. Wait for our little steaks to cook. Eat you. And look at that. That's bumped us up nicely. That's absolutely great. Can't complain about that at all. But what I'll also do is I'll make use of these livers. So we'll have some antidotes going just because otherwise I don't have a fridge to keep and I'm not going to cook them up. It seems like a bit of a waste. So yeah, we'll make some antidotes. This is the other thing we want. We want a key. So all we need is a couple of planks. And let's make ourselves a key. We keep going past stuff. Key, please. Excellent. That can cook in there. We'll pop everything else away. Damn, we're getting some nice materials. Look at that. Okay, what else do we need for the antidote? We need... We need one more medicinal tonic. And we don't have enough fish oil, unfortunately. We'll have to do some fishing and catch some more. Damn. While we're, while we're thinking about that, what I'm also going to do... Is we've got these sitting here. We might as well extend our base a little bit here. Look at that, that's perfect. That's looking really nice. And now it's a little pier. Okay, let's see if we can catch a quick fish and get some fish oil out of it. We might be in a bit of luck here. Don't usually do fishing during the day, but because I've got a liver set in there, I kind of want to make use of it, just because I know I'll get infected again at some other time. And yeah, it's just gonna be handy to have. And that's a fish. Excellent, we'll bring him in. Hopefully he's a nice big one, so we can get a whole bunch of oil off him. Come on, fish! Oh, it doesn't look too small. Excellent, looks a decent size. That's absolutely nice. That's what we needed. We needed a big fish and we got a large salmon. Great, let's fill it him. There we go. So we can make another one of those. We'll get those going. Wouldn't mind going to get some more wood. There's always things you've got to be doing, hey? This is why this game is so addictive. There we go. Yeah, we'll have to get some more fish just to get the oil and stuff cooking on. Can't go too far because I want to keep an eye on those fish fillets. So many things to do! And I've got my key, which is a little bit late for today. We'll keep that on us. Yeah, she's a little bit late for today. I can't really go back and go get it, but that'll definitely be for tomorrow. I know it won't be there, but for the next one that we find. Look at that golden brown salmon fillets. Excellent. Damn, I want a fridge. Damn, <laughs> fridge is going to be really handy. We need a couple of sticks, and then we can repair our bow. And we'll do a bit of fishing tonight, I think. I know we've got a whole heap of meat here, and we don't really need it, but we're going to turn it into fish oil just for the next one that we find. There we go. That's all sorted. Anyhow, guys, I think with the sun going down, I'm going to leave it there. There's our new neighbours over there, and we've got some neighbours over in that direction as well. We've done pretty well. Done extremely well. Two deers and a cougar. That's absolutely fantastic. And we can look at making things like a winter jacket, which is going to be useful. We probably don't have enough cotton for that yet. But we can also make a combat helmet and a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah, that makes things very exciting. Need some more cotton, damn it. Some booties would be nice. Anyhow guys, I will leave it there. If you enjoyed this, if you had a bit of a laugh, if you enjoyed me seeing a couple of deer and enjoying the series, I really am enjoying subsistence. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. It does help the channel and I really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. See you later.